So some breaking news coming in the last couple of minutes or so and it regards Impact Wrestling moving nights from Tuesday night to Thursday night. Now it's actually quite ironic because I did a video earlier today talking about the low ratings for Impact Wrestling this week. Of course Impact Wrestling on Access TV this week has got the lowest rating of 2021, the lowest viewership rather of 2021. And I spoke about during that period of time that this would be a bit of an eye opener for Impact Wrestling because it would probably make them realize, look, NXT we know is moving to Tuesday nights after WrestleMania hasn't been confirmed but there have been multiple reports that that's what's going to happen. NXT is moving from Wednesday nights to Tuesday nights after WrestleMania. The internal WWE calendar lists NXT as being on Tuesday nights going forward so they know. Impact Wrestling knows they don't want to turn this into a Tuesday night war. You don't want to move the Wednesday night wars to Tuesday night wars between Impact Wrestling and NXT because obviously if that is the case Impact Wrestling is going to get crushed. And the evidence is there because the last time that NXT and Impact Wrestling went head to head was last year. It was in September of last year and Impact Wrestling drew something like 70,000 live viewers on Access TV. Now usually, especially in 2021 where they've had some considerable success with this AEW and Impact Wrestling working relationship, Impact Wrestling usually looks at 120, 130, 140, 150,000 live viewers on Access TV. That got cut in half by Impact Wrestling moving to Tuesday nights last year when they had their Super Tuesdays experiment. So Impact Wrestling knows. Impact Wrestling knows they really can't afford to go head-to-head -head with NXT because they'll get obliterated. They, I mean, they'll get absolutely destroyed. That's just what's going to happen. So I think everyone expected this. Everyone expected this move. As I mentioned, I alluded to it earlier that Impact Wrestling, I felt, would be moving to Thursdays. It's their traditional night, and that's the way that Impact Wrestling have phrased this, is that Impact Wrestling's moving back home. It's moving back to its traditional night of Thursday night. So this is the press release that Impact Wrestling have said. They said, quote, Flagship weekly show returns to traditional night starting April 8th. Impact World Champion Rich One, AEW World Champion Kenny Omega, will be part of a massive six-man main event for the first Impact on Access on Thursday, April 8th. Impact Wrestling confirmed today that its weekly flagship TV show, Impact, will return to its traditional Thursday time slot beginning April 8th. The fastest paced show in professional wrestling will now air at 8 p.m. Eastern time each and every Thursday night on Access TV. The return of Impact to its traditional night will be marked by a massive main event. The inaugural Impact on Thursday, April 8th will feature Impact, the Impact match debut of All Elite Wrestling World Champion Kenny Omega, who teams with the Good Brothers, Carl Anson and Doc Gallows in a six-man main event against the reigning Impact World Champion Rich Swan, former two-time Impact World Champion Eddie Edwards and former X Division champion Willie Mack. Now, Executive Vice President of Scott uh, of Impact Wrestling, Scott Demore, has said, "Quote: Impact Wrestling has years of history airing on Thursdays, which was the night for high-energy action-packed matches starring some of the most high-profile stars in professional wrestling history." Nothing is changing from that front when Impact jumps back to Thursday nights. Leading into Impact every Thursday night will be Before the Impact, an hour-long show on Access TV starting at 7pm Eastern Time, hosted by John Burton, Gia Miller and Josh Matthews. BTI delivers breaking news, exclusive matches and one-on-one -on -one interviews of Impact Wrestling stars and more. Scott Demore also said, quote, The new home once again for must-see matches is Thursday nights for, uh, on Access TV. Now, as I mentioned, this... Um, isn't surprising. It really isn't surprising. And I think it's, for myself, just my point of view, it's, again, it's ironic because we spoke about this earlier. If you watched the video earlier on the channel, links in the description box below to talking about that. I said that, that I, I felt that obviously Impact Wrestling would be moving in the foreseeable future. Now, I know some companies and I know some people would say, wow, you know, Impact Wrestling, they should stick. They should stay on Tuesday nights. They should fight with NXT. They can be NXT. No, they can't. I mean, in reality, you just you have to realise, no, they can't. Now, I don't know at this point, and I think what is probably interesting here, and I think the real thing to discuss here, is how far ahead was this planned? Is this reactionary to the news that they've received over the course of the last 18 hours or so? Is it... Is it them looking at, look, I mean, this week we had no competition and for whatever reason we lost 20% of the viewership. We don't know why. It was meant to be a highly viewed episode with the return of Kenny Omega to Impact Wrestling Television. The first appearance of Kenny Omega inside the Impact Zone on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. It was meant to be a highly viewed episode and it just didn't happen. It didn't happen. It was down 20% from the prior week. Impact Wrestling, I think, is down something like 30% or something ridiculous from last year. And obviously... That's television, that's the pandemic, that's viewing television, watching television in the pandemic. There are other factors involved there. 
there's social media, there's streaming, there's on demand, there's DVR, there's illegal streaming, there's everything involved in that. And again, we speak about that in depth in the video. Be sure to check that out. But I mentioned at the time uh, that they must look at that and say, well, something isn't working here. They know they've seen the reports and they have people that they know within WWE and they have people they know within the business that have said, look, NXT is moving to Tuesdays. NXT is moving to Tuesdays. So even Access TV themselves, the networks talk to each other as well. And even a smaller network like Access TV that's limited in terms of the amount of people that have it, they hear the rumbling as well. Television executives, wrestling executives, everyone. I mean, even fans like you and I, if you're watching this video, know that Impact Wrestling is going to have competition if it sticks on Tuesdays because NXT is moving to Tuesday nights. It's, it's an open secret at this point. Frankly, it's just a matter of time before NXT themselves announce it and WWE themselves announce it because that's what happened. That's what's happening. The internal calendars have listed it. NXT is going to be on Tuesday nights following WrestleMania. That's just that's just the case. So it makes sense, obviously, for Impact Wrestling to move because if they stick to where, to Tuesday nights, they'll get destroyed. The evidence is there. It's not even hypothetical at this point. They were on Tuesday nights when Impact had those two Super Tuesday shows and they got destroyed. And not just only did they get destroyed, they didn't hold on to their own audience. It would be another thing if, obviously, NXT ran those shows on the Tuesday and Impact Wrestling still had its audience of 150, 160, 170,000 live viewers on Access TV. They could probably look at that in that case and say, well, actually, you know, our audience is distinct from NXT. It's not the same audience. It's a different audience. They're willing to watch Impact. They're not willing to watch NXT. That would probably be different. And in fact, they would probably look at that as a positive and say, well, more fans are going to be watching wrestling on Tuesday nights. Maybe there's more chance that people would come over and watch us on a Tuesday night. But what actually happened was that more viewers watched NXT, but less viewers watched Impact. And that goes to show that the Impact and NXT audience, there's a lot of crossover there. And because NXT was on Tuesday, the people that would usually watch Impact said, you know what, I'm going to watch NXT instead. And Impact lost viewership. And they realized that long term, that just, that's not sustainable for Impact. And they can't afford, they can't afford to take the risk of saying, well, we'll try and take on NXT because they'll lose. They'll lose and they'll lose badly and it won't end well for Impact Wrestling when they've got fine margins and they're, they're a well-backed company, Anthem Sports and Entertainment, they've got good financial backing, they back Impact very well, but you're talking about a small viewership pool there. You know, when we're talking about 150,000 live viewers, if you lose 20 or 30,000, that's a lot in, in terms of percentages. We've seen that this week. Impact lost 30,000 live viewers from the prior week. They're down like 20%. That's not good. So obviously, uh, Impact can't afford to do that every week. So they're getting out ahead of it. I think that's smart. I think also from a PR perspective, I think this is the right time to do it as well. I think if they'd have, if they'd have waited for WWE or NXT to make the announcement, it makes them look really reactionary. And they don't want to come off as that. Even though, I mean, I wouldn't classify it as them running away. I would classify it as smart business. But some people are going to perceive it as Impact running away from NXT or running away from WWE. And that would certainly be heightened, of course, if NXT or WWE makes the announcement, we'll move into Tuesdays, and then straight away Impact goes, oh, we're moving to Thursday nights. <laughs> You'd go, well, uh, they're obviously terrified of WWE and NXT eating into their audience, so they're moving. Uh, which is reality, is what it is. It's smart business. I don't think anyone here should be too proud. I think in these kind of situations, a bit like with NXT and Wednesday nights, you have to swallow your pride and you have to look at business and say, this is the right thing for business. This is the right thing for the product. This is the right thing for the brand. It's it's naive and it's foolish to try and compete with someone that you know you can't beat. And that's the same for NXT and AEW. They know at this point they can't beat AEW because AEW has bigger stars. That's just fundamentally what it is. They have bigger stars and I think a bigger budget, frankly. So NXT, they've had to swallow their pride and move to Tuesdays. And it's the same with Impact Wrestling. You could have people saying, well, competition's a good thing, but it's proven at this point that it's not. It's not the late 1990s. It's not the Monday Night Wars. We had this opinion when the Wednesday Night Wars first started between NXT and AEW that because in the late 90s, competition was a good thing and it, it, it galvanized the pro wrestling business and it made pro wrestling bigger and more popular than it had ever been and had some unbelievable heights and unbelievable viewing figures of Monday Night Raw and Nitro, you know, outdrawing Monday Night Football. I think everyone thought that this was going to happen when it came to the Wednesday Night Wars. And in reality, it's almost done the opposite. You kind of realize that for, for better or for worse, there is 1.5 million people watching wrestling on a Wednesday night. 
And if you have two shows, you just cut that in half. You don't generate more. You don't generate more interest. It's the same people that were watching the Wednesday Night Wars on the first week that are watching it uh, of this past week. And I think that, that pro wrestling companies have probably looked at it now going, look, our audience is pretty much our audience at this point. It's very difficult to grow that. And I think Impact have looked at this and said, look, our, again, our audience is our audience. This is, it's not going to get to 300, 400,000 or something ridiculous like that. And if NXT comes, they're going to cut right into that and they're going to cut our audience in half. We can't afford to do that. So they move back to Thursdays. And I think that's a smart move. They're not competing with anyone. I know people will say, well, what about NXT UK? That airs, I think, 8 p.m. over here in the UK. It's not even applicable to Impact. It's, it's the right thing. It's absolutely the right thing. And they are right. Traditionally, this was the night for Impact. This was the night that Impact used to air on Spike TV. It does feel like Impact's moving home. I think there might be a bit of, a bit of concern when it comes to viewership patterns. They say the reason that Raw has 1.8 million viewers at this point is just because people are so used to watching it on Monday nights. I mean, they've done it for what? Is it nearly 30 years? They've watched Raw on Monday nights from 8 or 9 o'clock. And I think the concern might be that with Impact jumping around to these different dates, viewership patterns are people less available, more avail available to watch Impact Wrestling on a Thursday night. I don't think it really matters as much because it's such a small viewership base anyway. It's 150,000 roughly each week. They'll follow you whatever night you move to. I don't see it being a massive problem. And to be honest, you know, as I mentioned before, um, it's, there's no competition. So if they want to watch wrestling on a Thursday night, they'll watch Impact Wrestling because that'll be the only thing on for them to watch if they're a pro wrestling fan. So it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. And it's Impact doing smart business once again. It was the same with the pay-per-view with Rebellion. They moved that to a Sunday night because they realized we can't compete with the UFC on that night. Because UFC have their big event on the Saturday night. Uh, on April 24, and they realize that if we try and compete with that, it's ludicrous. It's it's naivety, uh, and they're doing the right thing here. They're getting ahead of NXT WWE, which is which is the smart move. Um, so again, I I think it's I think it's the right thing. I think it's the right thing. It's going to be interesting now how the Impact and AEW relationship works because of course Impact at the moment with all of this AEW crossover actually is almost a um, a bit of a a lead in to Dynamite on a Wednesday, isn't it? You've got Impact on a Tuesday, which has some AEW kind of stuff sprinkled into it, which is a lead into Dynamite on a Wednesday with Tony Khan and his paid ads and that kind of stuff. But now, of course, with Impact being on a Thursday, it's kind of Dynamite becomes the lead into Impact. And it's going to be interesting to see how Tony Khan does his paid ads. Of course, Kenny Omega is going to be on this big Thursday show. So again, they're going to kind of have to tweak that. They can't uh, start a story for Impact on a Tuesday and finish it off on a Wednesday, they have to do it the other way around. So that's going to be interesting. But those are logistic things. You figure those out over time. It's an expected move. It's a smart move. And uh, I think Impact obviously have made the right decision here. It's, just, it's going to be fascinating. It's going to be fascinating. For a pro wrestling fan, I, I think it's great. I think it's great. I know we talk about competition being healthy for business, uh, but I think direct competition, we realize now, isn't actually healthy for business in 2021. Competition in terms of having several companies that a pro wrestler can go to, to make a living, to get over, to have creative freedom, that's a good thing. Having companies like Impact and AEW and WWE be on different nights allows them to be successful and means that more wrestlers can be employed, more employees can be employed and more people can get in the pro wrestling business. That's what is best for business. Direct competition on the same night isn't best for business anymore. It's been proven that it isn't. So having pro wrestling on all of these different nights, it's a lot. And it's, it's sometimes it can be difficult to watch, but that's why you pick your favorites. I, I think that's why you watch what you watch. Um, so I think it's a smart move for Impact Wrestling. Um, and, and again, it's expected. It's expected. So certainly it's going to be very, very interesting. Does it change the product? No. no. I don't think it changes really. In terms of the product, in terms of talent or whatever, it doesn't change anything. Uh, if anything, when it comes to NXT, I would expect their viewership to go up being on a Tuesday which is good for them, which is good for WWE. I think it increases AEW's viewership on Wednesdays, again, which is good for AEW. Does it increase Impact's viewership on a Thursday? Probably not. it probably stick around to what it is now. As I mentioned, it's a small viewer base anyway. It's 150,000, give or take 10, 15, 20,000 anyway. That, that's what it is for Impact Wrestling. Will it get higher because it moves to Thursdays? I doubt it. I doubt it, but 
anything's possible and anything can happen. But of course, as always, it's just one man's opinion. What are your thoughts on Impact Wrestling announcing? They are moving to Thursday night, starting Thursday, April 8th. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond and reply to all of your comments. Really enjoy interacting with you guys, talking about Impact Wrestling, AEW, WWE, New Japan Pro Wrestling, all things pro wrestling here on the channel. So be sure to get involved in the community, drop a comment below. All opinions are welcome. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on the like button too. Really does help us out here on YouTube, get the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously. But most importantly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Russ News 365. You can do that by clicking the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now. Or if you wait a few seconds, there'll be a subscribe button at the end of this video along with another video for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming or however you come across this video today. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.